Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself or divine in the flesh. Now with replays on IGTV at dakini.kiss, where together we learn how to surf and navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience, composing a new earth beyond the limitations of this perception managed reality matrix of five senses, having discovered our true divine creative natures, in our true sensual sensorial world of seven senses, creating formless into form outside of the matrix. Before we get started, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, selecting the all settings so that when I upload videos, the YouTube will let you know. I generally upload Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. My name is Mario West here to download, upload, inspire, and usher you into your bestest and brightest light, your bestest and brightest selves, and inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider and wider still. Hello, my little app, Ray New Moon, solar eclipse, pre-winter, summer solstice, pre-Christmas, Aquarius leaning superstars. How goes it, my loves? Welcome to episode 100, Ein Hundert. My musings on the great conjunction, conjunction meaning within zero to three degrees of one another of Jupiter and Saturn. Finally, leaving Capricorn in Aquarius that we're amidst currently, my loves. But before we get into all the solstice um, hoopla, let's first say bye bye with relieving thank yous and appreciation to Saturn in Capricorn. You know that heavy handed, long ass transit that's been looming over our lives like a stinky wet blanket since the end of 2017, bringing us oodles and oodles of those tower moments, sudden losses, separation, sudden deaths, grief, despair, depression. What the actual fuck moments, shits, shows, shit storms, often sending us into solitude, hermitage, feeling forgotten, benighted, alienated, ostracized, and often banished from the tribe because we're not thinking like they do. Self-imposed or not, whilst outing all of the fake friends and fake alliances as the lying user mofos, you know, those narcissists, sociopaths, and psychopaths, those NSPs, in our respective lives. Yes, including the demonic lower astral plane, motherfucking psycho, satanic, pedophiles, so many of the sleeping zombie humans in the matrix follow and vote for that take orders from the demons that actually run the matrix world especially the latest fools getting ready to overtake the current matrix shitstem reality of five cents perception managed toolery foolery into a whole other level of mind control fuckery slavery okay undress that word salad i dare you but i digress but I do this to remind you all who are clueless as to what the fuck I'm talking about, that it is a great time, people, to learn the skills required for real, to wake the fuck up, exit the matrix, and go beyond the matrix shitstems, or stay asleep. It is your fucking choice. Okay. Capricorn is the cardinal sign ruled by the 10th house of career in astrology and is associated with the feminine, believe it or not. That is intaking, receptive, sensuous form, flowing and in league with Saturn, okay, um, its ruling planet. The planet of limitations and contraction and hard work and hard knocks and persistence and resilience and patience and making a plan with their mix uh, about lasting organized structures and systems of reality and ways of being, creating and expressing and being in relationship, often viewed as uber limited, especially within the matrix, 
which is limited to five sense reality than our true divine sensual sensorial universe of seven senses. Okay, outside of the matrix, my love, Saturn in Capricorn actually gives way to the co-creation of systems and structures that are unlimited and vast and life affirming that nourish and serve in balance to the co-creation of planet earth with the true divine creative natures of the unslaved human expressing their respective masculine and feminine energies regardless of gender that are inherent in both male and female bodies humans enslaved within the matrix have forgotten their true divine creative natures they spectate the lives of the elites so as for myself this transit has really been a collaboration of my own inner masculine and feminine me becoming my own best man my own best woman my own inner father own inner mother in creating true structures that are actually life affirming and very supportive of my life's purpose okay so what I want for you all to do is to make some time to sit in contemplation and journal about what Saturn in Capricorn has taught you these last few years since uh, the end of 2017 and bid a welcome to Saturn moving back into Aquarius. Now remember earlier this year around uh, the spring um, equinox, Saturn moved into Aquarius and then around the 1st of July until the 17th of December, which is uh, going to be uh, today, uh, later on, um, and I'm filming at the end of the 16th, uh, Saturn decided to make its trek back to Capricorn to fuck with us one last time. <laughs> Okay, so check it out in the world matrix, the shit shows of Seven Noinson and the election fuckeries notwithstanding. Okay, so Saturn will be in Aquarius until the 7th of March, 2023. Now, back to uh, how this has played out for me, for myself with Capricorn rising and the completion of my second Saturn return. So what happens when you're over 60? Along with my Chiron in Aquarius in the first house, opposition to Uranus in Leo in the seventh house of relationships, I am happy to bid Saturn in Capricorn adieu. And I worked through my stuff enough to say farewell, blow it off with a kiss, mwah, without giving it the proverbial dual fingers, if you know what I mean. Okay, now on to this upcoming solstice. One of the most highly, highly anticipated events of this decade, it's coming up on the 21st of December. The auspicious date stands out as a powerful day because of the winter summer solstice depending on which hemisphere you are on planet earth plus a very rare alignment taking place this year known as the great conjunction in Aquarius now Aquarius is the water bearer air sign ruled by the 11th house of the world of people out in the world humanity along with its ruling planets of Uranus and Saturn now in Tarot the image of Aquarius shows the that water is being returned to its source as an offering and so Aquarius's network keyword is network whereas Capricorn's keyword is achieve so Check those out and see what comes up for you. So this rare planetary con connection is potent, especially for those of us who've been continually doing the great work and applying the great work. We're at a most critical point of our evolution, my friends. I know we keep saying this, but the evolution is ongoing. The awakening of humans is ongoing it is not a one-off event my friends uh which 
has been unfortunately hijacked by new age bullshit saying once you're awake everything's perfect and if it's not perfect then you're not awake okay bs okay so the great conjunction refers to the alignment of the planets jupiter okay which represents expansion and saturn which represents structure and systems old and new and contraction Okay, so the fact that they're going to meet for the first time since 2000 and in the closest alignment since the year 1623, that's nearly 400 years ago. Well, my friends, this is a big deal. This great conjunction symbolizes a massive change for humanity out side of the matrix representing the beginning of a significant shift in our collective consciousness toward the evolution of mankind reclaiming its divinity in my humble opinion so the conjunction does happen last time it was 20, 2000 every 30 years however this particular alignment that we are anticipating on the 21st of december ushers in an even more significant, more dramatic shift of our planet because for the last two centuries, Jupiter and Saturn have only been meeting in Earth signs, okay? So the Earth signs are the signs of material gain and significant loss. And based on the lack of consciousness thereof, where the focus has been on the profits for the elites, whilst the masses lose or are in servitude to the nobility, where the illusory game of winner takes all or the one with the most toys wins, all within the matrix, all slavery on both sides of the aisle okay hardly flattering of a testament to our true divine creative natures but this year this pivotal shitstorm of the year 2020 jupiter and saturn meet in the air sign of aquarius and auspiciously meeting and aligning at zero zero degrees of Aquarius. And the reason why this is uber important is because zero, zero, symbolizes infinite potential and endless possibilities. This represents a ginormous energy shift for all of us individually and as a collective in and out of the matrix. Now, bearing in mind that Jupiter and Saturn are aligning in Aquarius represents the beginning of a new era of higher consciousness and limitless possibilities for humanity to choose to wake up, see themselves, see reality, exit the matrix into, er, into their respective center screens, their awareness center. This is the awakening center where we get to compose reality, activate our true creative geniuses, you know, that power core that I've been talking about that we all have, that the matrix and the powers that want to be have tried so hard for so many millennia to distract us humans from remembering who and what we are, including our purpose of creating formless in two form, just like they do. Okay, now under the air sign of Aquarius, we will be more community focused and revolutionary. No slaves, no rulers. When we have balance, we can focus more on what benefits the collective and not in an oppressive, communist, socialist, fascist way. Okay, but in a radical, out of the matrix way of seeing how we are all part of the universe creating, co-creating the universe simultaneously. The fact that this conjunction takes place on the day of the winter and summer solstice is also essential as the 21st of December will be the shortest day and the longest night of the year or the longest day and the shortest night of the year, depending on where you are on the planet. It symbolizes the beginning of the return to light once it's all over and we resume the cycle of longer days and shorter nights heading towards the summer solstice again and vice versa if you're in the southern hemisphere now how does this apply to you and your own life 
Okay, my friends, you can channel the energies of this powerful event in your own life in the following way. So I want you to think about where you may be too attached or ruled by material items and things and possessions. Okay, where in your own life can you become more heart-centered? Reassess your goals and keep your energetic frequencies and vibrations high. Now, the best thing that you can do to prepare for this monumentous event and the years that follow is to bring yourself as best as you can into spiritual alignment. That is heart, mind, body aligned with your true divine creative nature, your soul. Now is the time to remember the power of your thoughts and what that power has in co-creating your reality, in composing reality on purpose, and to be aware where you are flowing your energy and your attention. Being awake is about owning your attention, my loves. It's that simple. Your thoughts are seeds. So it's time to become aware of what seeds you are planting. This is not about great effort or great efforting to manifest. This is more about bringing yourself into a state of pure energetic alignment of heart, mind, body, soul, perceptivity, uh, coordination, so that all of the facets of your being are naturally manifesting your reality from that highest vibration and that alignment. Aligning yourself is easier said than done at times, especially within the matrix. It is a process and it requires your willingness to surrender and love yourself through it as you step into your real and authentic power outside of the matrix. Remember that in reality creation outside of the matrix, you are the grand creator genius. You don't have to try to be positive or force yourself to create your own reality. Acceptance and allowing of everything as it arises is required. And it's required for you that the moment you get triggered, the moment something happens, you wake yourself up, see yourself, see reality, exit the matrix, enter into your awareness center, your awakened state, and compose reality from there. It would be best if you were right for yourself. So listen to your higher self and naturally allow your vibration to be buoyant and rise along with the high frequencies generated by this great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Suppose each of us wakes up and exits the matrix, aligning ourselves with our true divine creative natures. In this case, we can contribute to the whole as a collective and repopulate the true creation field, the universe of unlimited potential. We can assist in bringing higher frequencies into the planet and raising consciousness through our emotional states of choosing, utilizing the emotional scale from Abraham Hicks, if we can vibrate more and more and more and raise ourselves to that frequency of love, joy, passion, appreciation, and happiness, this high energy can contribute to the frequency of the entire planet. Now remember, the world is the matrix and the world is not the planet. Our energies are higher, brighter, and more powerful as the energy surrounds us. On the 21st of December 2020, this is an auspicious and powerful day for us to all set clear and heart-centered intentions. The perfect day to journal, meditate, and perform any manifestation rituals to bring your life goals, desires, and realities for you and the world into clarity and intend them to materialize. As you do so, you are going to be quantum jumping all of your lifelines and illuminating those sectors of reality of your universe that has not yet been seeded and you're going to do so with ease and grace. Okay, my loves, that is my speech. Please help me grow this channel by giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment about your experiences below. 
in the comments box or in private if you're shy i understand please share this video with your communities family friends and social media platforms and with folks with whom you feel would benefit from my content please also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell selecting the all setting so that the youtube will let you know when i upload next and if you find value enjoy benefit or love my content and videos won't you please consider supporting my work through a donation my paypal link is below as is my link tree that hooks you up with all of my stuff in the different ways you can connect and or work with me i thank you all so much for your participation and focused attention i really do appreciate it so until next time happy winter summer solstice my darlings Always act from love outside of the matrix, from your center screen, composing a new reality, quantum jumping your lifeline so that you can be the love that you truly are. You can share your love, create, make art, make music, make love, repopulate the true universe. Here's to love, truth, and beauty, my divine ones. Mwah!